grabbing log, starting log. Yep, so we're good to row. What's up guys? Eclipse is getting popular, huh? Um, I tried to start again today and it is revving super high so I'm pretty sure my timing with the timing light was incorrect when I put that 12 uh, on my configuration but it starts and runs so I need to know where my um, air fuel ratio is so I don't run into the possibility and the problem of getting my engine screwed up so I got a AM uh, gauge um, you know you try to cheap out and sometimes it doesn't work so I went to store got an AM I have an AM on the BMW it works like charm and I decide to you know what I know it works um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the Eclipse so I'm gonna take this out of here I don't know if the problem is the sensor I don't care anymore this goes away all of this new goes in and this is what we're gonna do in this video all right if you're curious that's where uh, the O2 cable goes it goes in here it goes through this hole from the inside this is the old one right in here which I need to pull out now so it's pretty decent so we don't need to uh, you know make stuff up or it's a very nice spot for it and so this is the old one and that's the new one right here gotta just untangle uh, unwind make it straight one thing I'm gonna do before going inside the car I'm gonna measure here <clears throat> how much I need and I'm gonna put this um, little I, I'm gonna call it clamp I don't know how it's called it's a little thing that has a little piece of rubber in it my 10 millimeter and I'm gonna tie it to the radiator so I don't pull by accident as I'm trying to route this inside uh, once this is done and the car starts and everything and I know that I don't need anything I'm gonna wrap this up put everything here and make a little piece of carbon fiber it's gonna be pretty cool all right so all routed the old one is here it's going to the trash and this is how it looks now this goes all tucked in this is my uh, xenon lights um, this is going to be bolted here, here, here. It's all secured. I have enough to go with this all the way to the ground, which is enough for me. Um, then, of course, this goes hidden in here, here, it goes through the firewall and inside the car. The worst part is <coughs> pull, pull, uh, putting all those guys here up here um, but yeah we made it so before assembling everything I'm going to connect them and let's see if we have positive negative that thing works then we can assemble everything so as opposed I was doing before I'm going to uh, crimp these guys and this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use brown white black and red here those guys two are for the serial which goes to the computer and the other one goes to the AM um, something so I'm gonna um, insulate those guys or isolate not insulate I'm doing insulation on in one part of my house so I keep that in my head uh, so positive negative and here positive is red those two guys here negative and white is also 
uh, signal. So white goes on the pink right here. Uh, red on the power, which I have hanging right here somewhere. I just can't see. Oh, right here. Uh, you can't see. It's right here. And the ground goes right on the wall. So I'm going to do that. Yep. Sounds pretty accurate. The only thing is they send uh, my brown to the negative to the ground on the ECU. So, I mean, I guess I could make a, a T right there and just get one of the grounds that goes to the ECU, but I'll leave like that for now. Um, and this is the five volts is a white, so that's what I need. Yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much all we need. All right, everything is connected. Let's see if we get some signal. Oh, nice. Good. Yep. Warming up. A heat. There you go. And it's gonna go all the way. That's awesome. So now um, we need to be sure that the ECU is receiving what it needs to receive. Um, so. We need to get the computer, but yeah, I think we're good. I think I can mount that stuff out there. Um, I know that all the connections are good, so I'm going to put this back in place. Uh, we mount the pillar in here, and yeah, we're going to call it good. All right, and if you have Tuner Studio, um, you might need to create a file, a ink file like this take the camera uh, those are the values I got it from the manual and you create this file and of course you go to your tuner studio tools calibrate AFR sensor go to the last option ink file and browse find your file so I have all of those here Eclipse car mods include and When you load this you write to the controller so the controller is going to be calibrated to know if I receive this much this many volts uh, This is how my air fuel ratio is so it's all done uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I think uh, it's all burned and everything in the ECU and now we just gotta start the car. Um, I guess I just need to uh, tie the sensor. I put the, the fan because it's gonna be a smoke. So there you go. I just plug the sensor. It's heating. And this should reflect right here, whatever I see in there. Uh, I don't know if I need to wait every time but let's start the car for a minute alright sidling terrible what alright and just to end this video we are going for a little ride on Monica so I gotta grab some logs uh, there is a thing called auto tune um, I'm not gonna do auto tune right now. I just did a little bit, so it could give me like a direction on how this should be. Uh, I think I think uh, looking at the numbers, I think I need a little bit more pressure on my fuel. I have 43. Um, I think it might be something around 45, 47. I've, I've seen some posts, but I never mess with it. Uh, so, by the way, this is running um, Speeduino, which is a Speedy EFI. And that's our gauge right there. It's gonna heat. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's just start this thing. I'm gonna start a log, grabbing log, starting log. 
Yep. So we're good to roll. So the turbo is just pulling too soon. Um, maybe too much gas. I don't know. I gotta talk to my buddy Nick. He helped me on the BMW. Yeah. Can you hear the turbo? Check it out. So the logs are going to get all these numbers from here. And we are gonna calculate some stuff. So that's it guys. And all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was just a quick update of me putting a gauge that is worth I guess I learned some lessons, uh, you know, not just with the Eclipse, but with the BMW too. That um, sometimes even, I mean, I'm, I'm all for eBay, Amazon, but sometimes if you think you're buying too cheap, uh, you end up, you're buying like one piece of 30 that you need instead of buying one part that has all the 30. So when you buy that one you need to buy all the other 29 but you didn't account for it so you say oh I spent only a hundred dollars instead of 300 but then you spend a hundred dollars in boats and and hoses and then there was another part that was missing uh, or you need the other part which you also you can find cheap but then when you find cheap it doesn't have a gasket you know so some parts are good some parts are not I have another car coming. I'm not gonna cheap out on the other one, but it's gonna be end up being cheaper than this and that. So, I mean, this was a pretty cheap build, don't get me wrong, but it could be cheaper if I spend more money in parts. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, hit the little like button here. I didn't mean to say that, I was gonna say, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. Uh, button down here so you know what the next videos are but this baby is coming uh, coils <laughs> work like a champ speedino speed efi works like a champ so stay tuned i'll see you on the next video look past my face see status i mean it's a mcdonald's